So it's it's wonderful to have Yaping Yan, who's actually going to be writing on the blackboard. And she's talking about cohomological algebras and the representation theory. Thank you. Uh, I have a microphone here. Great. Thank you. So first, I would like to thank the organizers uh, for inviting me. It's my great pleasure to speak here. And also, it's my first time in Warsaw. I'm very helpful, happy to be here. OK. So let me start my uh, talk with a little bit of history. Mm, so in uh, 1999, Nakajima proved the following theorem. Oh, by the way, if I'm uh, writing too small, please shout at me. Try to write it bigger. Um, so if I have a, uh, let G be a finite dimensional, the algebra semi-simple. And Nakajima proved the following theorem. So the quantum affine algebra, uh, UQG hat X on um, uh, the equivalent case area of uh, Nakajima equivalent variety. Um, so that's my notation uh, for each highest weight. So that's notation for my highest weight. Okay. And uh, this modular space, if you are not familiar, another name, this is a generalization of the modular of instantons and the ALE spaces. And using this uh, uh, action, uh, Nakajima might be able to classify, find out all the finite dimensional irreducible representation of the quantum affine algebra. And uh, um, so similarly, the similar proof, uh, if I change the equivalent case here to the equivalent cohomology, same variety, and uh, the algebra X on here, X on the cohomology uh, is a Yang Ying, Y, H over G. And this is a, a, a theorem of our new rules on the same time. And later on, uh, 2011, so this is by uh, Conservatory Soberman. Okay. So in their paper, they introduced the cohomological Hall algebra as in my title of my talk. So the Koha, uh, cohomological algebra. So this is associated to a quiver with potential. So I'll denote this guy uh, by H. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Uh, gamma W, this is my notation for the quiver, and this is the potential. And they introduced the algebra as an algebra of the BPS states. So the algebra of BPS states. And uh, this guy, so this algebra X on the uh, critical cohomology, so the equivalent cohomology of the moduli of frame the representation of the quiver and uh, valued in a perverse sheaf. So this is the vanishing cycle functor has to do with the trace of the potential. And uh, this vector space, if I take equivalent Euler characteristic, I get the DT series. Okay. And later on, so uh, when Gufan and I started to uh, work on related stuff, so Gufan is also in the audience. Uh, Gufan and Zhao. And they uh, realized that these two uh, stories are related. Okay, so that's a so called uh, dimension reduction. 
So let me explain. Uh, here, so the uh, Nagajima quiver variety, so those parameterizing shifts on surfaces, that has to do with the representation of the pre-projective algebra. So this is a two color BL category. And uh, if I look at uh, the uh, moduli of frame, the representation of the quiver, and this one has to do with the representation of the Jacobian algebra of the quiver with potential. So this is a three color BL category. And uh, so let me explain precisely what's the relation of these two story. So we take a quiver Q. So this will be the thinking quiver for my uh, the algebra. So draw a picture. Uh, I will label the arrow by X. <clears throat> so this quiver, you should be uh, thinking this corresponds to the underlying Lie algebra associated to the Q. And from the quiver, we can get this uh, new quiver, gamma. This is a triple quiver. Triple quiver. So I'll uh, double the, so this is the original quiver Q. I'll double the arrows. So whose representation will be symplectic. And now adding the edge loops. And uh, uh, that will create one more dimension. X, the reverse arrow is X star, and the extra arrow I'll label it by L. So consider, uh, it's a label here. <clears throat> so consider this uh, triple quiver, Q hat, and uh, consider the following uh, potential L commutator of X, X star. Okay, so under this choice, we can show. Then, so first of all, this yanging of GQ of the finite dimensional Li algebra, GQ. So this uh, uh, embeds in the, uh, so I have the Koha associated to the uh, Q hat W. And uh, so this one, if I take the dream field double, that's my notation for the dream field double. Um, so the Yangin embeds in here, and we know exactly the image of the Yangin inside the uh, double the Koha. It will be the spherical subalgebra. And the second, so those two actions, one is the Yangin action and cohomology with the quiver variety, the other is the Koha action on this moduli. So those two are compatible. So I have Yanking of GQ, X on uh, the equivalent cohomology of the Nakajima quiver variety. So each highest weight lambda. So this action is by Nakajima Varanulo. And uh, I have the doubled Koha of H give has a W. So this also X here. So that's by conservatory Soberman. And uh, this embedding we have uh, so that this diagram uh, commutes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And uh, so today I will uh, focus on the following two generalizations of this observation. Right. So the first one, so when we talk about Koha, <clears throat> the cohomology Koha algebra, uh, there are many uh, cohomology theories we can use. Don't have to focus on uh, cohomology or case area. So, so I will talk about for any oriented cohomology, cohomology. Area. A star. So this could be cohomology case area, elliptic, or even cobodism. Um, 
from this, so I can uh, produce a uh, quantum group. Okay. And uh, so the procedure is uh, uh, giving any oriented cohomology area, and I can uh, take the A star coha, and I can do the Greenfield double of it. And uh, I will denote this guy by uh, U A star of G. Okay, so um, the benefit of using Koha is I can uh, input any cohomology series to output is one quantum group. And this way we get uh, new quantum groups. Right. And the second generalization I wanted to explain is uh, when this equivalent potential, so this guy may not come from the uh, 2D picture. So this is a three dimensional Koha. Uh, it may not be of the triple equivalent form. So if this guy uh, has to do with uh, uh, a uh, local, comes from a local uh, toric, Calabial threefold x, and uh, so uh, we uh, right. So on the categorization, uh, categorified DT on the uh, equivalent cohomology of moduli of certain shifts. So let me just say moduli of shifts on this threefold. Um, is a critical cohomology, so with uh, values in a, in a vanishing cycle functor. So uh, for this categorical DT, so uh, I will talk about uh, the symmetry algebra, which acts on the equivalent cohomology. Right. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, so the rest of my talk, I'll just focus on those two uh, points. One. Right, so in this category of oriented cohomology series, so I want to pick out a special class. This is so-called uh, Morava D series. Okay, um, right, so this roughly speaking, uh, this thing is labeled by uh, for each, for any uh, prime number P and uh, for each integer N and you can define this uh, uh, Morava E area uh, denoted by E star of N. So that's a special class of oriented cohomology area, Morava this area. And uh, so this number n tells you the height of the formal group law. So the uh, formal group law will have height n. And uh, so this p means it's uh, p localized. So if I look at the coefficient ring, e star n of a point, and uh, this guy is uh, universal deformation of a height n from a group law over the finite field. Mm, okay, so maybe some examples. Um, so if I take uh, n to be zero, uh, this Morava E at level zero. So this is the cohomology with Q coefficient. Okay. And uh, if I'm taking N to be one, so this E of one, this has to do with the case area. So KP hat 
this is a p-localized uh, k-series, so p-adic completion of the complex case area. Okay. And if I take a height two for n equals two, so this E2 has to do with p-localized the elliptic uh, cohomology area and so on. So you get a new, so you get a family of uh, cohomology area labeled by a prime and integer n. All right, where's the eraser? Okay, so uh, so now if the input was a Morava E area, and the output is I obtain a family of new quantum groups of quantum groups. So I will denote this guy by U and star G. And I will denote the quantum parameter by uh, QN. Okay. And uh, those family also labeled by the prime number P and the integer N. Okay. And uh, uh, so now I wanted to explain. So those new quantum group are uh, interesting at the roots of unity. And uh, so this will have a, a phenomenon Very similar to the Frobenius, very similar to the Frobenius in modular representation theory. Okay, so as uh, David Jordan mentioned in his talk, there's a quantum Frobenius from Lustig's uh, quantum group rules of unity to the enveloping algebra. And those new quantum groups will uh, help you to iterate the Frobenius. So let me explain. <clears throat> so the theorem. Oh, maybe uh, maybe let me say some words about the parameter. So this QN. So if you take the QN to be root of unity, so in this setting means uh, QN lies in the EN area of the classifying space of Z mod P, and uh, this guy roughly has a size. Z mod P to the N. So at the level N, if you look at roots of unity, there are that many of them. And when you go to one, so that's a uh, Euro root of unity uh, in C star. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So theorem. Uh, I So this is based on my joint work with uh, Hufang. Okay. So, uh, okay, so there exists um, algebra homomorphism. So I call this Fabinius from uh, step n to step n minus one. And uh, this quantum group you associate to E n theory of G to the quantum group of E n minus one of G. Okay. So we construct the algebra homomorphism from the step n to a step n minus one. 
And uh, uh, what does it have to do with Frobenius? If I look at the module, so this guy acts on the uh, EN star of the quiver variety. So now I will write it this way. So the Nakajima quiver variety, uh, I will write the dimension vector as V lambda. Lambda is my highest weight. And V lambda, this pair will tell me the weight space. It's join the union of V. <clears throat> so this is the highest weight module of this guy. And uh, this thing will x on E n minus one star of uh, the Nakajima quiver variety. And if I look at the weight space, so all the weight space are shrinking by P. Destroying the union over V mod P. And there's also a map here. And uh, such that this uh, two actions compatible. Okay, so the Frobenius phenomenon happened. So I shrink the weight for the highest weight module to the highest weight module by P. Okay. So in particular, Okay, so in particular, for n equals one, so this has to do with uh, the loose Higgs quantum Frobenius. So I have the UQG. So this is a euro quantum group at a piece of of unity, Q to the P equal to one. So the loose Higgs one. And uh, uh, so loose Higgs already constructed this quantum Frobenius from one to zero ended in the enveloping algebra of G. And I can explain how does the map goes. Okay, so for loose Dix map, there are some generators, the standard symbol you have E and you have F and there are high divided powers. You have divided power at P or you have f divided power at uh, p. And uh, so this e and f will go to zero under the Frobenius. And this guy will go to the standard generator for your enveloping algebra, e or f. Oh, I was writing it for the SO2. Yeah. <clears throat> OK. So, uh, so why, why are those uh, new quantum group at the root of unity interesting? So we found the applications in uh, modular representation theory. Um, so maybe I'll state a conjecture. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so this, this is actually the, one of the motivation we uh, study those new quantum group at the of unity. So the conjecture, conjecture is for any uh, highest weight lambda and uh, if i look at the uh, irreducible representation for uh, those there exist uh, irreducible representation so i will denote this guy by l lambda and i will label an n um, to remember it's a irreducible of those u e n star of g such that, so the character uh, of those irreducible representations, character of L lambda n, and uh, so, uh, so the formula, so the character formula is already introduced by Lustig, so it's Lustig's character formula, where uh, he introduced in uh, 2015 for reformulation of his old conjecture. And those formula has to do with modular representation theory. So uh, I think we can prove this for uh, type A, uh, when G equal to SLN. 
And uh, right, so we're still working on it for general type. Um, right, so, so those are the application in modular representation theory. So hopefully it will have uh, uh, some interpretation from physics as well. Okay. All right, so, so that's the first story I can tell. And uh, so for the second generalization, two, um, maybe I'll first uh, give one example, then I will state the general setup. So uh, when the quiver with potential come from a toric calabial threefold. So, uh, so I will start with one example. Okay, so suppose uh, X equal to the simplest case, the C cube. <clears throat> okay, and the quiver with potential, so the quiver gamma is this three loop quiver. Sorry, so any questions? Okay, so I'll mark this by D1, D2, D3. And uh, so the potential is. Uh, B1 commutate that would be two B3. And if I look at the Jacobian algebra uh, in this example, the Jacobian algebra of gamma W, so this will be uh, the pass algebra B1, B2, B3, quotient by uh, the derivatives of those loops, so quotient by the uh, commutator of two equal to zero. So this is a polynomial ring with three variables, B1, B2, B3. Okay, so uh, in this example, Okay, so uh, in my joint work with uh, uh, Rapcheck, Soberman, and myself. And uh, we computed the Dreamfield double of Koha in this example. So, Right, so x equal to uh, c cube, just to write the setup. And uh, so we pick a divisor. So those are the three coordinate planes, c2, 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 with multiplicity n1, n2, n3. And uh, so the Dreamfield double of the Koha in this example. Um, so we get the alpha yanging of G O one hat um, with parameter H1, H2, H3. And the Calabial condition tells me the sum of the parameter equal to zero. And those parameter correspond to C star action on the three loops. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, so under this setting, uh, there's an interesting modular space uh, introduced by Nikosov. So maybe I'll just state it this way. So the yanging of GL one hat X on the um, 
the equivariant cohomology of um, the following moduli space. So this is the moduli of spiked instanton. Right, so this is introduced by Nikosov. And uh, so I can draw a quiver picture for this moduli space. Maybe I'll keep that board right here. Right, so the uh, so the quiver for the spike the instant is really quiver and the framing uh, so corresponds to the three divisors. And it's this one. Um, right, and multiplicity has to do with the the multiplicity of the divisor has to do with the framing vector for the uh, framing. And uh, uh, right, so roughly speaking, this modular of uh, spec the instant down, so you should be thinking of, so this is roughly, so you should be thinking that as the moduli of shifts on the uh, C cube and it's supported on the three divisors, the union of the three coordinate plane. Okay. And uh, uh, furthermore, so this action also give you uh, the uh, VOA structure. So number three, uh, this action factor through Some W algebra. So this is the so called uh, the VOA at the corner. Um, this is introduced by uh, Dayoto and Rapchek. Okay. And uh, so this is special VOA. Uh, if two of the Vertices, is uh, two of the frame equal to zero, and uh, it's the uh, affine W algebra. Okay. All right, so, so that's what happens uh, in this example, when X equal to C cube. And uh, in general, any questions? Uh, could you please explain how this you are getting this moduli space of uh, sheaves uh, in terms of the quiver diagram? In, in, the, in I, so, so that's uh, I don't have a precise uh, way of interpreting this uh, frame the representation as modular of sheaves. It's uh, uh, we talked about it, but uh, uh, we didn't go uh, very further. And the precise mathematical way of speaking this is uh, I look at representation of this frame in the guy, frame the quiver imposing the uh, stability condition. Uh, what, what exactly do you mean by moduli space of, space of sheaves? I, I would uh, suppose, I mean, on C3, they, they would correspond to some sort of uh, functions on C3, right? I mean, um, so some sort oh, of I, bundles or some sort of bundles on C3, right? Uh, I mean, I, a, I a sort of collection of bundles. 
it's uh, so I can only explain if uh, n two n three equal to zero. So uh, so that will correspond to the module I will frame the uh, coherent shifts on uh, P two and framing at the at the line and the infinity. And for uh, n two n three to be general, I, I don't have a statement. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So uh, the last five minutes. So I'll just uh, uh, say the general setup uh, beyond this example, and I will uh, state the conjecture hopefully. Mm, so, so in general, mm, so I have a most local um, toric labial threefold, and uh, this is the resolution singularity. And where uh, why is that uh, fine? You know, the guy, um, Calabial. And uh, right, so, so this I can't speak uh, um, precisely. So, uh, so this MX, that's my uh, moduli of uh, right. So, this is moduli of uh, perverse coherent shapes. Uh, I think Nakajima used the uh, notion perverse coherent system means perverse coherent shift together with the framing perverse coherent system um, on X. Right, so this can be defined explicitly and uh, Right, and also, uh, so this can also be uh, realized as a critical locus of some global function. So maybe I don't see F of F. <clears throat> yeah, so the conjecture rub check Superman myself on the phone. Right. So the uh dreamfield double of the Koha. So uh there's also a quiver potential associated to, to this data. So if I look at the Koha, so this thing acts on the uh, equivalent cohomology of this moduli uh, with values in the vanishing cycle functor. And also, uh, right, so we can describe this. Uh, so conjecturally, so this thing uh, can be described uh, explicitly. So. Uh, Right, so the conjecture part. Oh, by the way, the Koha action uh, is a theorem. So the Dreamfield double part is a conjecture. And uh, so explicitly what it is. So this has to do with the uh, factor through uh, some shifted Yangin. And uh, uh, 
So for, from this setup, we can define a uh, root system, and this Yangin will be associated to the root system. So maybe I'll say, uh, so this is the Yangin so of the algebra of that root system. So root system from the uh, resolution of singularity x to y. And this is shifting, uh, we can uh, geometrically describe it as a intersection pairing. Intersection pairing, which depends on the modular space and depends on the stability condition, and uh, uh, depend on which x we are choosing. And for this conjecture, for some examples, we can verify. Okay, thank you. I'll stop it here. Uh, so these quantum groups, they are often also admit constructions, the actions of quantum groups on the cohomology theories often admit constructions by stable envelopes. Do you know how that story relates to what you're talking about here and like to and in particular, any, any an analog of that for Koch itself. So for, uh, yeah, so for stable envelope, it's very easy to uh, say for uh, when the quiver is uh, uh, ADE, the simplest quiver. Uh, so far, this is the euro, right? So the, so this one. So this, so this Yangin, if I take G to be the IDE, finite IDE, and uh, so this Yangin of G uh, is defined by generator relations, and there's a molecule Okunkov uh, Yangin, it's uh, uh, defined geometrically using the stable envelope, and that one is expected to be uh, the double of the Koha, and this one will be a subalgebra in that. And things are more complicated if the quiver is crazy, and there are some theorems uh, about that, to compare the Koha with the molecule of I think it's a, yeah, uh, Schiffman Vassero has a series of paper on that. So just to clarify, so you, are you saying that the double uh, of Koha um, equals, is isomorphic to the molecule and Kof Yangi? At least for, uh, for the Afan quiver, um, so it's expecting the uh, uh, this molecule and kind of Yangin uh, of this quiver, right? So I think in their theorem, uh, so they look at the positive part uh, of the molecule and kind of guy. So so this is the the uh, Koha For the Afan case, maybe there are some localization I didn't uh, remember. I need to take. Sorry, Koha or double of Koha? What's that? Sorry. I, 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 is there also a double there or no, just Koha? Uh, so I remember uh, in, in the paper of. Uh, Shima Vassaro, they, uh, they talk about the, all the, only the positive, I think. Right, Pufan? Did they talk about the whole Yangin? Only the positive part, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a question about the first part. Uh, is there a 3D upgrade to Marawa quantum group? That's a very good question. Is there a 3D uh, uh, lift of the Marawa quantum group? That's a very good question. And that's a question I should raise up in my talk. So I don't know, but uh, it's, it's a very good question. And uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so, so for this action of the Drinfeld double on this equivalent cohomology of MX, are you assuming a special choice of stability condition 
for for um, various shifts on on x, or should it be true independently of it? Uh, sorry, so uh, could you ask? In order a... to define this modelized space of of current sheaves on x, typically you need to choose some stability condition. Right? Yeah, so so this action works for uh, wait wait. So <clears throat> so the conjecture uh, is for any stability condition, and. Uh, So the thing is, uh, uh, the algebra one change, the algebra one change. So, uh, so, so the picture I have in mind is there are many chambers. Mm -hmm. If I choose different stability condition and the algebra itself one change, but uh, if I change the, uh, if I change the uh, stability condition, if I change the chamber and the uh, boreal, uh, the triangular decomposition would change. Abstract algebra will be the same. So you'd be getting different modules of, of the gene field double with different it, that, That's right. So if I change the stability condition, uh, it will be a different module. They have different uh, Euler characteristic. Yes. OK. And yeah. Are you assuming that it's a small resolution, or the, the conjecture is supposed to hold for arbitrary uh, toric uh, the three with compact divisors? Mm. So. Uh, I will test a few examples. Uh, I, I'll just play safe. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. So the okay. So the checks are, are for small resolutions, but, but you hope it should be. Uh, that, that's question. right. Yeah, and there are some there are some uh, constraint on the fiber of the resolution. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. So I wanted to ask about, um, in the, for loose six quantum groups, you can construct these modular tensor categories where you, you take tilting modules and you quotient. For these um, higher ones that you've defined, the, the EN quantum groups, is there, is there some hope to construct modular tensor categories in, in an analogous way? It's, uh, it's a very good question. And uh, even for the, uh, yeah, so uh, the, like the co-product for, for those new quantum groups, we are still working on it. Uh -huh. Yeah. But you but you can construct them as a Drenfeld double or, or just as I a- I construct them as a Drenfeld double. Uh, the, the reason is uh, there may not be one co-product on those. For example, the, uh, this co-product raised from the stable envelope, that one we don't know how to construct. And there are some co-product localized and uh, allow me to take the dream field double. Ah, okay. Yeah. I was thinking about this, uh, Lustig was giving talks at MSRI like in 2013 about some like sequence of modular tensor categories that would that would sort of generalize. I just wondered if, you, if what you're doing is related to those possibly. Yeah, so that's one of the motivation. Uh, he, in that talk at the MSRI, he talked about those character formulas and uh, one of the questions uh, from the talk on Lustig asked is whether there are like a family of quantum groups, uh, you can obtain the, the formula by taking your reduced representation. So that's, uh, the, yeah, yeah, that's one of our motivation. Thank yeah, thank you. So if you want to go to the next question, 